Hey, so I just got home and I just did the most beautiful, perfect, amazing parallel parking job out there. So I'm pretty pumped right now. So I thought I'd make a video. Let us finally talk about Last Chance to See by Douglas Adams and Mark Howardine. So this book started out as a BBC radio segment about the trip that Douglas Adams, a sci-fi humorist, and Mark Howardine, a zoologist, took to Madagascar to see the I. I. Lemur. The radio segment became so popular that the BBC decided to take Douglas and Mark all over the world to see more endangered animals. So it started out as a radio series and then they turned it into a book. Now how I consumed this book was you know, by reading it, but also I had the audiobook for it, which I think I think the audiobook that I have is the original radio series. So it was Douglas Adams reading the stuff that he wrote about the trip that they took. So it was basically like sitting down next to a super cool friend and having him tell you all about these amazing trips that he took to see these amazing animals. I'm just letting you know right now that I thought this book was practically perfect that I really have nothing critical to say about it at all. I can't think of anything that I didn't like about it, except for the fact that it ended. Like, if this book didn't end, if it just kept going, I'll keep reading it for the rest of my life. It's like having a conversation with Douglas Adams. And I know you already know that Douglas Adams is like my favorite person ever, so having a conversation with Douglas Adams for the rest of my life would be ideal. But okay, let's get back to the point. This book is ridiculously good. It's so consistent in how good it is, there's never a low point. It just keeps being good. Like, you keep reading and chapter after chapter you're like, I like this more and more and more. It's so impressive because it's able to give you quality, humor, and ideas all in one pretty package. I'm looking right now at a list of all the places that Douglas and Mark went to and all the animals that they saw. So the first one was in Madagascar for the I.I. lemur, and then they went to Zaire in Africa to see the northern white rhino and mountain gorillas. And they went to New Zealand to see the kakapo. Kakapo is like a giant ridiculous looking bird. Think the dodo. Um, and they went to China to see the Yangtze River Dolphin and to Indonesia for the Komodo Dragon and they went to Mauritius for the Rodrigue Fruit Bat and the Mauritius Kestrel, the Echo Parakeet and the Pink Pigeons. What's really incredible about this book is that it's able to give you the stories of these animals with just wide-eyed wonder. Douglas Adams is so intrigued by the world around him. He just notices all the fantastic details. He's so good at pointing out the absurd in all of these trips that they took. Not just in the animals, but also in the countries that they're in and the preservation efforts that are being done to save them. It's basically like a very informative travel diary and Douglas Adams gives you all these details about these animals but he's not preaching to you and he doesn't get super technical but you're still learning so much. This book was so good at combining funny and tragic and hopeful all in one paragraph and it does it so effortlessly that it's almost like magic. A book like this could not have been written by anyone else but Douglas Adams because Douglas Adams sees the world through a completely different lens. I feel like I'm not saying anything useful because I love this book so much that I actually kind of have no words for how great it is. I keep trying to come up with words, but I think I'm failing. Er, I'm losing light. So let us wrap up this messy video by saying that this book is so good because Douglas Adams talks about these endangered animals with humor, but without cheapening the topic. He just gives you the facts, which can be very sad, but the way in which he writes about these facts make this book funny and hopeful. And okay, it is now completely dark. Goodbye, sunlight. Um, I think you should read this book. I think everyone should read this book. It doesn't really matter if you like animals or not. Um, this book will make you care about it. This book will make you care about more things than just animals. It will make you care about the world in general. 